Hello everybody, God bless your heart today. How are you doing, boys and girls? I hope you're doing well, and I hope the hope of God is in your heart today. Put a smile on your face, because Jesus is with us. Today, I want to talk about Peter the Predictable. Less than 24 hours before Jesus died, he turned to his disciples and he said, in a few hours, I'm going to be arrested. I will be tried in a fake trial and I will be crucified and I'll be dead. And then Peter looked at him and said, I will not abandon you for nothing. If you are going to be arrested, I'm going to be with you. If you're going to go to jail, I'll go with you. If you're going to be crucified, I'm com coming with you. <laughs> and Jesus looked at Peter and said, Yeah, are you going to do that? Well, I have news for you, Peter. Today, today, not tomorrow. Today, in a few hours, three or four hours from now, you will deny that you know me three times. Today, that's going to happen. And then Peter said, I will never do that. I'm going with you to the death. And all the other disciples said the same. So Jesus said nothing more. Why am I talking to you about Peter? He was predictable. He had a mouth full of a, an spirituality that he didn't have in, your, in his mouth practical life. A lot of people are just like that. We sing songs about spiritual things that we don't live. We read the Bible out loud, stories that we don't even try to live. And what we believe and what we practice are very far away from one another. Just like Peter. We say, Jesus, you are everything to me. I'm crazy about you. I will serve you forever. But in our daily lives, we have a faith that is so weak. And we murmur and we criticize our church. And we don't read our Bibles. And we have these sexual sins that never go away. And that is how we live. That is how we live. Hey, hey. Don't be so predictable like Peter. Ask God, say, Jesus, maybe I have been denying you in my everyday life. When I spend 24 hours without reading my Bible, am I not denying you? When I don't want to go to church because it's too cold or it's too hot, am I not denying you? When I look at somebody and I judge them in my head, am I not denying you? When I don't want to bring my offerings to the church, am I not denying you? When I don't want to pray, am I not denying you? Hey, today I challenge you. Don't be like Peter. Live a spiritual life just as you say it. If you say, I'm going to go with you to the very extreme, Jesus. Go with him to the extreme. Don't be like Peter. That just... A few hours later, denied Jesus for a housemate, for someone so simple. Father God, I bless everyone. And I ask you to please help us to not have a mouth that says so many spiritual things. But in the real deal, we live a carnal, sinful life. Help us to stop denying you. And living a life that goes with you to the very extreme. Don't let us be so predictable. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Were you blessed today with this word? I hope so much that you were. If you did, just send this video, share this video with anybody who speaks English. And also give me a like so that I be encouraged to be here every week. God bless you so much. And I see you next time.